The Flash? The Flash? Found Barry Allen. No! 10 big differences between Ezra Miller and Grant Gustin's Flash. Zack Snyder's Justice League came in with a lot of changes. Snyder took the risk of introducing new characters such as Darkseid and redo existing characters such as Steppenwolf and Barry Allen. If we track our steps back to 2017's portrayal of The Flash, the said character was portrayed vaguely, but Snyder fixed that. However, there are still stark comparisons between the two Flashes that exist, Grant Gustin and Ezra Miller's Barry. We know that it will be a bit unfair to compare a TV show character with a movie, but even if we ignore that, there are a lot of differences. Number 1. Ezra Miller's Flash is less dramatic Oh my god, don't do this to me, I don't know about the what. When CW's The Flash started, it was a light-hearted fun show. But as seasons passed, the character of Barry Allen kept on getting serious. If we compare him to Ezra Miller's Flash, he seems to be less dramatic. He has an excitable and light-hearted feel. Number 2. Grant Gustin's Flash has more techniques In Whedon Cut, we never saw Flash showing any powers. He just used to run fast and push people away. Though Snyder Cut improved on it and gave Flash more important stuff to do, it still wasn't enough. Possibly because we never got an origin movie. But Grant Gustin's Flash was trained, has learned and improved on his abilities. He has the supersonic punch, can run on water and use his momentum. Number 3. Grant Gustin's Flash Applies More Science Supporters of Ezra Miller's Flash argue that he hasn't been given enough time to explore this. In CW's The Flash, we see what it takes to be a speedster. Barry Allen has to eat an insane amount of calories each day, has to wear a suit that decreases his friction against the Earth, and continuously train so that he can progressively get faster. This makes it a bit more relatable. Number 4. Ezra Miller's Flash Uses Lightning Better While we have seen Grant Gustin's Flash use lightning on many occasions, its use hasn't been for multi-purpose actions. We saw that Ezra Miller's Flash used his powers to charge a mother box, and in Whedon Cut, he even lit a match with it. Number 5. Ezra Miller has better costume This is pretty cool. Smooth. Seems safe. It's and breathable. Throughout the seasons of The Flash, Grant Gustin's costume has gotten better. But Ezra Miller's costume is still better. It is much more appealing and has a good visual palette. Number 6. Speed Force Use is better in CW's The Flash Run, Barry. Run. Even though Snyder undid all the mess with The Flash in Whedon Cut, Speed Force was still underutilized. We might see it being introduced in The Flash movie. However, when The Flash reverses events in Justice League, there could have been something. In CW's The Flash, Speed Force is an important part of the arc. Time and again, it is used well there. Number 7. Ezra Miller's sense of speed is better we can give this factor to the VFX and high-budget Justice League has. With limited amount of budget at a TV show's disposal, we could never feel how fast Grant Gustin's Flash was running. However, with Ezra Miller, you could just sense it. Number 8. Ezra Miller's Flash origin story is worse. Dad, that's not true. That's not true. We see Ezra Miller's Flash becoming a CSI in the end. Before that, he is hopping around for jobs. Grant Gustin's Flash joins CSI to find out who killed his mother. This gives us a good reason to root for the character, so we don't know how central Ezra Miller's Flash's mother's death to his story arc is. Number 9. Ezra Miller doesn't have the Flash family I need friends. We see Ezra Miller's Flash operating alone. However, Gustin's Flash has the support of Joe and Iris even before he becomes the Flash. After he did, he has many friends like Sisko and Caitlyn. Number 10. Ezra Miller's Flash is classic portrayal Remind me, how's that again? Uh, with the power of love, Barry. Even though Grant Gustin's Flash started out as fun, soon he turned melodramatic. In Ezra Miller's Flash, we see the classic jokester of DC. The Flash with a high IQ and wit cracking a few jokes here and there. <clears throat> I'm just joking, I think that's great. Miller will return in 2022's The Flash. After Snyder Cut, it will adapt the beloved Flashpoint storyline from the comics. It'll also feature some major DC characters like Affleck's Batman and Supergirl. Justice League can help stir up further excitement for his solo movie. This is exactly the pedestal that 2022's The Flash needs to get the audience excited. On the other hand, Grant Gustin returns for Season 7 of Flash, and then possibly the last being Season 8. So which portrayal of Flash do you find better? Do let us know in the comments. And make sure that you like and follow us on Facebook, and subscribe to us on YouTube for more exclusive content. Thank you! and I'll see you in the next one.